And the U.S. stock market has been on a roller coaster ride since the news about the coronavirus spreading has been out. This week, in a surprise move, the Federal Reserve cut interest rates by a half percentage point in an effort to support the economy. And now a lot of folks wondering, is their money safe? And joining us this morning is TU Chapman Assistant Professor of Finance, Dr. Megan McCollum. Thanks so much for coming in this morning. Thank we appreciate you. it. A little early, <laughs> but we appreciate it anyway. So first, before we kind of get into this, uh, for folks that kind of don't know the, uh, the correlation, how does a global pandemic affect the stock market? How do those two things kind of correlate with each other? Well, the short answer is we don't know. <laughs> every, every panic is something different. And so really what you're seeing now is the stock market is kind of learning what's going on, learning about what disruptions there are going to be to different companies' operations and how this pandemic is really going to affect business. Yeah, and so, I mean, what was the, the reasoning or, or what you would think would be the reasoning um, about why the feds were cutting the interest rate? What were they hoping to accomplish by doing that? So cutting the interest rate is one of the major tools in the Federal Reserve's kind of toolkit for helping the economy. And really this just makes money cheaper. This makes borrowing more accessible and less expensive to both consumers and businesses. So they're hoping that that flow of easier money, um, easier accessibility money will help spur more business activity. Yeah, and so, I mean, if people have a, a 401k or um, a retirement account, what what should they be doing? I, I mean, I've, I've heard people are, are, are starting to pull money out. They're starting to try to figure out ways um, to kind of um, combat what might happen because of the coronavirus with the stock market. So if somebody has a 401k or a retirement uh, savings account or something like that, what should they be doing or preparing for? Well, it really depends on your age. Um, the advice I'd give to someone who's in their 20s or 30s is different than something someone who's thinking of retiring in the next couple of years. But really, you should be not panicking because as soon as you sell, you're locking in your losses. This is what a lot of people did back in 2008 and only bought back in when stock prices go up. And that really magnifies your losses. So keep calm. Yeah. And so, I mean, if, if someone is, you know, paying their bills with, mm -hmm. with stock, you know, is, is seniors especially, mm -hmm. um, any advice for them, you, you know, folks that are heavily relying on that? Well, um, as you get older, you should be shifting your investments to more conservative investments like bonds that are not going to have the same risk as stocks. But if you're in the situation, you know, just monitor it. Don't panic. And um, just just keep calm. Yeah. And so um, how exactly would this be affecting uh, college students, college savings plan, um, who are looking to pay for their education right now? We know education is huge, especially here in Oklahoma. You know, that's on the forefront of a lot of minds, uh, you know, kids in high school, college students. So if, if someone's using that, what should they be doing or thinking about? Well, they should be thinking about what's their time horizon for using that money. So if they're looking to um, use that money in the next year or two, then they need to be thinking about how, what, their, what their strategy is for making sure that they have the cash flow to cover it. If you're talking about someone who's, you know, two or three years old, I wouldn't really recommend changing anything. <laughs> right, yeah. Got to keep it the way it That's is plenty right of time. <laughs> yeah. Anything else you want to add or mention that we didn't quite get to uh, just yet uh, about, you know, how, how these, these kind of global scares affect stock market and, and, and people just kind of worrying about their money and, and kind, of, kind of the fact that folks <laughs> need to kind of calm down a little bit. Things are going to be okay. Anything else you want to mention? Uh, well, I'd just say you're seeing these wild swings up and down in the stock market. And you shouldn't just be reacting to what you see the stock market doing each day. The stock market is not the economy. And, you know, if we can maintain good growth, if we have low unemployment, those are things that matter more to everyday people than just what you have in the stock market. Because in reality, most people's wealth is not completely tied up in the stock market. Yeah, absolutely. Well, once again, <laughs> T.U. Chapman, Assistant Professor of Finance, Dr. Megan McCollum, thank you so much for joining us this Thanks morning. Thank you very much.